How you doing, saints and citizens of New Jerusalem? Thank you for joining me. I love to feast on the word. So as God gives it to me, I'll give it to you. This is um, Revelations 13, 8. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. Everyone whose name has not been written from the foundation of the world. In the book of life of the lamb who has been slain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. Father, we ask you for the ear to hear. If anyone is destined for captivity, to captivity he goes. If anyone kills with the sword, with the sword he must be killed. Here is the preservation of and the faith, faith of the saints. Now, where is... Was it 8.13? Just a moment, saints. 13.8. Now, this teaching, I need you to listen up. So, throughout the course of my life, when I would sin, I would say, uh, well, the blood of Jesus washes me clean. The blood of Jesus washes me clean. This would go for anything that I uh, did or thought about doing. Well, then God said, uh, the, the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So instead of, instead of putting your sin or your addiction or your hurt or your pain under the blood after, put your sin, your addiction, your pain, your hurt under the blood before. If you put it under the blood before, it washes the desire away, it washes the hurt away, it washes any type of effect that sin may have on your soul. So, right before you smoke that cigarette, right before you chase after that tail, right before you go and look at that pornography, right before you, oh, hallelujah, go do violence or let your anger overtake you and start uh, lashing out at your brother, right before you uh, become bitter with your sister for hurting you, right before you uh, just say no to God it, regarding anything that he's asking you, right before, say, I put it under the blood, before, not after. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for this revelation. We ask that Putting it under the blood before encourages us not to do the thing that we want to do. And we want to do the thing that you want us to do. Your Bible says that when we will to do good, we can't find it. But when we will to do evil, it's present with us. Well, we ask you right now that good is present and it over and prevails the evil. Oh, hallelujah. We worship your name. Father, I thank you for the saints and citizens of New Jerusalem. I ask that... Everything that you give me, they get something out of it. This is the bride. This is your beautiful and wonderful and matchless bride we're talking about. She is spotless. She is holy. She is preserved until the return. And we thank you right now. You're preparing a place for her. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, saints and citizens of New Jerusalem. I'll see you soon. I love you very much.